Hey guys, welcome back to Saudi Briefs where we discuss current conservation topics in Kenya and in Africa. My name is Stephanie Wairimo and my name is Natasha Nyangara. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media platforms at Uvumbuzi Africa on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Let's do this! Today we would like to discuss a recent development in Kenya where the Kenyan government launched the first ever national wildlife census which will cover both land and uh, aquatic wildlife. Yeah, this um, is the first time Kenya is conducting a national survey to establish baseline data on wildlife and this uh, survey is important because it will help us understand wildlife populations, shift in their distribution and for future wildlife planning. Uh, previously, um, animals like the elephant and the rhinos have been counted periodically um, as they are vulnerable, but this will be the first time there's a systematic uh, counting of all the animals in the country. This census will be conducted over the course of two months uh, using GPS trackers, aircrafts, camera traps and significant manpower and will count everything from the regal giraffe to the cat-sized dig dig. This survey will also focus on the rare species like uh, the pangolin and other species that are illegally traded that have never been counted before. Yeah, this data will help Kenya better understand its wildlife and the threats that it faces today such as climate change, human wildlife uh, conflict and also shrinking habitats caused by competition for land use. By the end of July, the census team will have covered every inch of the Kenya's landscape by air and land. Uh, and also the lakes and marine parks by boats and uh, also underwater. In this episode, we'd like to introduce a new segment to the Saudi Brief series where we highlight young Kenyans and initiatives making an impact in conservation. We'd like to kick this off by highlighting a young conservation entrepreneur, Bonnie Mbithi, who is the CEO of the WE Center, an e-waste management company that is aimed at environmental protection and protecting the ecosystems through recycling and managing of electronic waste. This company raises awareness on the effects of e-waste as electronic waste is the fastest growing uh, stream of waste and they also explore and promote opportunities for youth and co uh, community entrepreneurship through their training workshops. They also have partnered with corporates like Safaricom and Kafu, whereby uh, all Safaricom shops and Kafu supermarkets have drop-off points for uh, the electronic waste. Uvumbuzi Africa would like to commend Boni and the team at the WE Center for this innovative initiative and for showing youth out there that they should be open to embrace innovative approaches to biodiversity conservation. Great job, Boni. And Great team. Now I invite you to engage with us in the comment section on today's topic and let us know if there is any conservation topic you would like us to highlight or if you would like to be featured on our YouTube channel as a conservationist. Yes, be sure to like this video and share it across your social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media at Uvumbuzi Africa on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Until next time guys.